Hello and welcome to the Craftman Show. My name is your host, The Craftman. In today's video, we finna talk about Star Wars figures. How that you can take old busted up, chewed up, uh, halfway demolished uh, Star Wars figures and give them a new lease on life and to customize them to do creative and fun things with them. First thing first, we're going to give credit to where I got this idea from. If y'all did not know, then y'all need to go check out Toy Pilar on YouTube.com. Toy Pilar does vintage toys restorations. And here is C-3PO ready to uh, play again with the Arpnauts and Chewbacca and have all his limbs and now his head removed. And show one of my old favorites, the Micronauts. So thank you to Toy Pilar for the things that you put up on YouTube. We just gonna need a few little things to do this project. Uh, mainly, I'm going to be using an exacto knife, AKA a hobby knife. Anytime I say exacto knife, I just usually mean, you know, a hobby knife, but you can use a pen blade. You can use some little uh, hobby lobby looking thing right there. Exacto brand, whatever you got. And I always be careful with these sharp blades like that. You will need you a drill. You ain't even got to have a drill. You could just use your hands and a little turn it like that right there. I got me a little 316 and 1164. You're going to need you some Lego pieces. Specifically, the little pegs right there. Then we're going to need us some Star Wars figures. And these are my little collections of uh, Star Wars figures right there. You know, I probably would keep them and try not to uh, modify these ones. Y'all ever had that dream where uh, a Fred's truck backs up into your driveway and just all of a sudden start unloading Star Wars figures? You can get up on ebay.com internet and type in, you know, Star Wars figures for parts. Star Wars figure parts lot. Chewed up Star Wars figures. Star Wars figures not for collections. Star Wars figure modification purposes. Look at, look at the Star Trooper right there. I don't think I have ever seen one this uh, that yellow. And by the way, we're not going to cover this today, but there's plenty of uh, information out there about how that you can get these back to white. You know, if you want to get creative with some hydrogen peroxides and things like that. One of the Landos is not like the rest of the Lando. Hello. And that's one of my favorite little color combinations right there. That green and that little turquoise looking, blue aqua looking color right there. I said, you know, somebody I guess maybe got a little adventurous and want to paint a uh, vest on it. I'm going to put this Greedo back up on my shelf. Let's see. Well, uh. And you ain't got to have the complete figure, all right? Because you're going to be borrowing from other figures from here and there. Maybe you got a little arm over there that you want to use, a little leg that you might like to use. That Buffett has seen some action. He had been through some things. And this one just had him a pretty good life, you know. I would feel more comfortable just going ahead and modifying this one. If I was going to do anything with that right there, then I would do like I showed y'all in a previous video and copy these parts right there. For example, that is a original, you know, Biker Scout arm right there. And that is a copy that I made out of a very tough a flexible resin. Let's see. I can't always do this, but I'm going to try and see. One, two, three, four, five, go. Just like that right there. Anyway, what else getting in? And maybe you got you some little uh Star Wars figure heads that you would like to try out. I got me a little 25 cents machine that I get my Star Wars heads from. Right though.
Can I have a few more quad? There we go. And if you're in a big hurry and just want to know the basis of this, all you got to do is just recognize that this right there, the diameter of them little shoulders and leg sockets works out really good with that right there. And that's all there is to it. Thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos. Please subscribe and comment and like and click the bell notification. I'm just playing with y'all. So I'm going to take this little arm right there. All you really got to do is to find the center of that right there. Just with your eyeball. You ain't got to get too precise with it. You know, like I said, you could take and sit down and twist it if you want to. But I'm going to take and hook up my little drill. And then I'm just going to kind of... I want to back it out every now and then and just check things. You know, we don't want to drill in too far with it. Probably, you know, some of y'all might be thinking, Crash, man, you crazy keeping your finger right there behind it. And of course, I don't recommend doing that, but I've just been using a drill for a couple, three decades and just kind of know how the drill is going to go in wood, how it's going to work in plastic, especially this tough little vinyl looking, whatever this made out of Chinese plastic looking. I kind of have a good sensation of how this is going to work. But you know, of course, I would recommend like that right there. And the little, the little cross piece right there is the one that's going to go in it. So we're going to cut some of this off of that. We just want to make sure we got a good snug tip at there right there. See that? And of course you can take you some little sand and uh and go ahead and sand on a smooth on it whatever you would like to do but just for this purpose right there what i'm going to do is glue this in there and then we're going to trim up that little edge right there that little collar Now that joint stays in there really good. The arm ain't going to just file down on you. You know, it stays up. Now one thing is that if you wanted to, all right, see how it's got that little catch right there? That little edge. See that? That little uh, flange right there on the end. So what I was going to say is if you wanted to, you could even take and use you, uh, let's see where that go. One of these kind of little pieces right there instead and just use that because instead of that long uh right there you can take this piece and then use that for your arm see that might even have a better feel for your figure you know and then uh, see that and that basically is the the system and i'm going to call that the tarp large system uh, I like to just watch his videos to listen to him. He has a uh, what they call a British accent, and which to me is one of the best 
these are my main two drill bits right there. We have a 1164 and then a 316. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, I just went through my drill bits and grabbed hold to some. I said, you know, that looks like the right side. It look like it should work. Where I might would use the 316 is, you know, if I needed to open up a shoulder joint a little bit. Because some of these, you know, the way they are already, you know, you might could, uh, if I took the, uh, see the 1164, they're going to be too narrow. So I just use this 316 and uh you know take that and if i just get up in that little bit and then i can go and there we go see that so that's the 316 and then where did i might use the 1164 is when it's time to drill out the little shoulder joints i like to do them a little bit undersized you know what i'm saying because that way these things right here will fit most snugly will fit most snugly that way these things will fit most that way these things will fit most snugly like the rubber see that and then you know and see and of course you know you know we want to trim that up by the way if you do not like the little idea of coming in and trimming off the little, uh, the little rings, the little collar pieces, the little excess right there, then you might be interested in this right there. And you want to take and just kind of gently, gently, then you can kind of countersink down into it without having to cut that little ring off of them. See that? And then you might find it easier to do uh start with the big hole and go just a little bit and at that center point right there finish it out with the uh smaller one and some of these star wars figures have a little peg like that you know what i'm saying you know that just fits down into it you know so as opposed to just trying to you know formulate you a new uh that ain't even a star wars figure so instead of just trying to make you a neck, you know, you can just use the existing one like that and just get you a head. And then just, you know, and then there you go. That's when Greedo did some night classes, went back to school, and learned some things, changed his whole lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And just, uh, and then if you're thinking about, hey, that, uh, that neck, if it's too loosey-goosey for you, let me show you another trick. Guess where I learned this trick from? That's right. My man, Toy Pilar. I don't know why, I always like to start with the, uh, I always tear the first piece off. That's just something. I guess from my plumbing days, I don't know why I do it. Anyway, and just kind of get us uh, and I don't know, something like that. So then we're going to take, and now look at that. Look at that right there. Snuggativity. And then my man Ed Harris over here, you know, he got to looking. He said, hey, do y'all think we got these uh, sleeve ideas from somebody? It's time to upgrade. This Ed Harris would not be the last one on the shelf at y'all Kmart. So there you go. Lando, I told you about that snap. You know, with this video, I just wanted to keep it limited to the peg system, basically. You know, that you can just, you know, 
I want to show y'all that you can get up in the, and then customize and you know have fun with the trade out your little different pieces and parts and things like that it's a really fun way to uh try things and if you got a whole bunch of uh star wars figures laying around this uh, you know maybe one of them got an arm chewed off a hand missing this might be a real fun thing for you to do uh but that's a little more involved you know cutting different pieces and things and mixing and matching all the different the different little pieces but uh but anyway you can do that too and then y'all know how much i like to uh fish a price of venture people right there so i see it and it works out great because the feature is exactly proportionate the way it should be you must go to all the rhymes with me and learn to be a laser sword fighter like your dad was and i knew him by the way and he would not uh approve of you being martial farm and doing all this drinking blue milk stuff like that all the time and uh besides that uh you got the force up in you lucas and then luke come in talking like uh can you offer me some health insurance because look at this mess right here I don't think they're going to cover that. That's a pre-existing condition, Lucas. And that's a uh, Darth Vader with the uh, accentuated head feature right there. I like how these old play with action figures, their joints get loose. He's like, what? What? Vader? Yes, what is it? The Rebels is on half. they hiding out. Vader, what? Uh, we think we found your son Luke. For real. He's like, I'm going to be in my little meditation chambers. Y'all leave me alone. I got to noticing that on the uh, new, the newer style of Star Wars figures, one came out in the, uh, came out the 90, 1990s, that you can take. And uh, I checked it. And it fits really well on them, too, with that. Yet. Oh, that's neat. I forgot it did that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, that you know, it fits pretty good on them. You develop your own techniques. And it's very easy to drill through these things. So I would recommend to just get you some uh, low bots on like that right there that you can practice on. Big system, modify these figures. Craftsman, what you mean? The Lego system, modify these figures. Use a simple pig system, modify these figures. It makes the interchangeable. Modify these figures. Lobot action figures each sold separately from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection from Kenner. If this is my last video, then I say that, you know, I love y'all and keep steady crafting. But if this is not my last video, then, you know, still, I love y'all and keep steady crafting. All right. Thank y'all.